the pretty girl. Please don't make me go in there. Don't you pray for Jill? After thinking they can escape being caught driving while intoxicated, let's find out how each of these people reacted after being caught by cops for driving while intoxicated. I'm too pretty for jail. DUI arrest on Halloween night. Oh, I should have done it. I swear I should not have done it. I don't do this. My mom's a cop, so I know it's stupid. It is 31st October 2021, and Officer Bertslaff arrested Sadie, a 20-year-old woman, for driving under the influence. The police had to stop her after suspecting she was driving drunk on that day. And even though she seemed like she wasn't drunk, they still had to go through a process to confirm. So I've already seen signs that you might be under the, or under the influence. So have you been drinking tonight then? I was earlier. So this isn't a one terrible case. She was highly cooperative with them, even if, at a point, she lied about being drunk. She even added that her mother is also a cop, so she knows the rules and regulations which makes this day a bad day for her. Okay, Sadie. Uh, so I just gonna want you to be completely honest with me. Okay, uh, so I've already seen signs that you might be under the, or under the influence. I could smell it on you, the way that you were driving, and then you were acting really nervous, okay? So have you been drinking tonight then? It was like, when's the last time that you drank? Because your eyes are like glossy. Every time you speak, it's like you could smell it real bad on you. A couple hours ago. I mean, if you want to drive me back to my house, I will, you can call me. I will go home. And that's it. Where do you live at? Right here in Houston, where that same woman is. Okay, then why are you going this way? I was going to go back to my ex's house, but... I should have done that. That was wrong. Intoxication really makes you take the wrong steps. And the policewoman was the guiding light for her tonight. She was obviously drunk as she kept repeating that the fact that she was going to her ex's house was wrong. But I live with my friend Savannah. And I'll go back there. You can follow me. I will go back home. Okay. Um, so what I, could, what I want you to do, and it's all up to you, uh, so it would make me feel a lot better. Uh, for you driving is if you would consent to field sobriety exercises if you could pass those I'll let you go to your ex's house they'll let you go to your house friend's house okay or go back yeah. home yeah huh I don't know. Like, it's been a couple hours but I don't know if I can really be honest so if you want to follow me back to where she is I will go home and I will give you my keys and I'll come get you in the morning Okay. But I want people to go back to the house. And she lives right across from someone. I thought you said that you lived right across from someone. Yes, yes. No, I thought you said you lived I right across. I lived with her. Okay, you live with her. Yes. Okay. I live with her across from someone. And I'll go back home. And take my keys and I'll come back home. It's wrong. I should have done it. I swear I should not have done it. I don't do this. My mom's a cop, so I know it's stupid. At this point, she knew there was no way out of this except she spoke calmly to the cop, and aside from getting reprimanded by the cop, she has it in with her mom when this whole episode is over. She had already started to regret it even before the cop gave her the judgment. We can't let you drive even without following you unless we know that you're good to go. Yeah. Because I could be held responsible, like yeah. say you got into a crash, or it could even be your fault if someone hit you. But so me knowing that you. That is what I just wanted to make sure that you're good to drive. The policewoman was actually doing her job and was, in a way, also looking out for her. It could have been terrible if she made a mistake pressing the wrong thing as she drove or hit someone. This must have scared her but the cops had to do what they needed to do. Next time, she would avoid driving drunk. Cops' girlfriend totals Nissan Rogue before arrest. I've never done this in my life. Just put your hands behind your back. It's okay. This was around 12.20 on April 15, 2022. 
when an officer arrested Yanel Barrientos as she was unable to drive properly after consuming about three drinks at a restaurant previously. Uh, we're just going to do some vitals on you real quick, just to make sure you're okay. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I did drink tonight, but I am not drunk. You can do every sobriety test you want to do on me. I'm not I'm not the kind to drink, to drink and drive, so you can do whatever you want. I'm not worried about that. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did have three drinks. But you could test me, I'm totally fine. Even if they already knew she was drunk, she made this whole thing worse as she kept talking and talking. Who on earth talks so much about cops? Except you are their friend and you have important information to pass on. My boyfriend's a cop. My, actually my fiance, sorry. So I don't wanna lie, I don't feel, you know, I just want to be honest with you yep, guys. That's the, that's the best thing you I do. didn't do I didn't do anything that was wrong. I, where did you I what did you so what did you hit? I think she hit I hit that pole. Hi officer. Hello. So where were you? If you look at my record, I've never been in a car accident. This yep. is all new to me. So where were I apologize. You? Yep, so where were you I going? I was driving and I meant to make a right and I hit that pole. She was acting so familiar with the cop, like that was her boyfriend, or he was his friend. She was obviously drunk, really, because if she wasn't, she wouldn't have hit the pole. Cars have a headlight that was enough for her to have seen it. She wasn't even getting her words right. I am, I'm honestly so upset. I can't even believe that this happened to me. I'm so upset. Can I drive, can I drive home? No, you can't drive home. You gotta definitely have a flat tire and some other stuff going on there. Anybody who's hurt? And she was the driver of the vehicle. I'm not hurt, thank God. Are you gonna be going to the hospital? I no, no need to go to the hospital. I'm thankfully okay. okay. I meant to make a right, and somehow I hit that pole, okay. and my whole tire went out, my whole car went out. You have somebody coming to pick you up now? You would definitely feel she was talking too much as she could have gotten arrested if she hadn't been talking. If she was too quiet, too. There could have been a point where one of the cops might have assumed she was drunk. She probably couldn't have avoided being caught anyway. I have been ignoring every call because I have been trying to focus on what the hell is going on. Do your best to calm down. I know you're a little shaken up. I am. Calm down, deep breaths, be relaxed. Familiar with the English alphabet? At this point, they started several tests and she was doing good. She was actually doing well. The question is, what went wrong? She was too forward and was trying so hard not to seem drunk. She even started crying and was scared. Can you first demonstrate? I don't want to fail. No, nope. I just want you to stand like this, one foot in front of the- I, I just Did don't want to make a mistake. At one point, she started getting the instructions wrong. And this was where the policeman decided something was wrong and kept giving her exercise to do. This was a tough ride for her. She tried her best, really. She was very scared, and that was how her arrest went. It was sad as she eventually got arrested. Girl shocked that she's going to jail for driving while intoxicated. My dad's gonna be so mad at me. Ploy was detained for drinking while intoxicated on January 15, 2022, and this was a terrible experience for her. Her dad has been arrested three times for the same offense, making this the last crime on her list. Do you know how fast you were going? Do you have your proof of insurance as well? There you go. Okay. Okay, one other thing. Um, when you were driving, mm -hmm. you kept going back and forth crossing over, almost hitting the plastic things on the side and going over the center line. Have you had anything to drink tonight at all? Yes, sir. Yes? Okay. All right, give me just one second, okay? I'm sorry. No, you're fine. So how much have you had to drink tonight? I haven't had much. How much is not much? I've had... It's not like one drink, like one or two. One or two? I'm, like, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. Okay, so here's the thing. I have to make sure you're getting dry. Okay. okay. So do you mind stepping out here for just a second with me? She didn't even know she was driving terribly. The other lady in the car was talking underneath and was probably as drunk as she was. This was a huge catch, and it doesn't look like she will be escaping this anytime soon. You've had more to drink than you thought, so 
We're gonna walk back here to my car, okay? We're gonna go over to the passenger side. Uh, are you gonna tell my parents about it? I won't tell your parents about it. You're an adult. You don't have anything in your pockets, do you? I don't. Okay. okay. I mean. Okay. So what I want you to do is I need you to have a seat in here. Okay. And you're probably small enough that you can fit. Okay. Um, do you have anything in your car that you need? Your phone, wallet, any of that? Okay. Okay, Chloe. So here's what we're going to do. I've got to take you back to the police department and we've got another test to do, okay? They also decided to test the other lady to confirm if she was also intoxicated and it was going well. And they were able to confirm that she was also intoxicated. There was actually a good chance of her going to jail, but she wasn't going to be held for long just until she was sober enough, which was honestly good enough. With her, uh, since she's driving even from Texas, obviously, She's under the influence. Um, so we'll go back. She's in the state of Arkansas, so we'll do the DWI process here. Um, so I've got to go do, we got to do a breath test and all that with her, so we'll have to figure that out. Um, likely with the jail, um, if she ends up going to jail, they're not holding people. She may have to sober up and then get released but there should be no her having to pay bail or anything like that. Um, so what about, like, how do can you, I get you, <laughs> do, you, can come get you? do you have somebody who can come pick you up that's sober? Somebody, yes. Okay. What are you, do you actually leave the car here? Well, we can't leave the car here because it's private property. Okay. Um, do you know if they, would it be somebody she knows that she would be fine with moving I mean, her we, car? It was so nice that the cop explained everything to the other lady. She was scared and nervous, but it was obvious that at the point the cop explained everything she needed to know, she was better with them. This is a very terrible experience for the first girl. So, she can't drive your car. She's I'm had too sorry, much drink. No, I'm sorry. no, you're fine. Listen, she is trying to call people to come and pick her up. If she can get a hold of somebody that's sober and can drive, are you okay with her having them move your car so we don't have to tow your car? Yeah? Okay. And then I'm going to leave your wallet with the car and we'll just put your ID in the back of your phone. Chloe wasn't even able to talk much. She was just crying and, in the moment, thinking of all the bad decisions she had made and how to make this situation better for herself. Even if she wasn't going to be locked or held for long, she was still shocked. I'm sorry, I'm just really scared. You're okay. The problem with the first one was it had two, it was a two varying, the samples were different levels, they vary more than the machine tolerates. So like if I pass, will y'all drive me back to my apartment or like? If you pass, that would be what would potentially happen. Okay. Okay. But you have to remember, also have to remember, been under 21. You can't be over a point zero two. It's not oh, a point okay. zero eight. It's a point zero two. Okay. And I can tell you, you're over a point zero two. Yeah. You could have one drink and be over a point zero two. So, like, does my car just stay? They took it back to your park. She was mostly scared to face her parent the next day, seeing that the same thing had happened to her dad before. She was also so nervous and was so restless. You are fine. Stay calm. This was a bad experience for her. As calm and patient as the policeman was with her, she was still so scared. Going to jail wasn't a nice situation. Sleeping in Taco Bell drive through Woman gets arrested. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. This was said to the woman who was caught sleeping in a drive through at 2.48 a.m. on December 11, 2021. After having difficulties for some time, she eventually decided to cooperate with the police as she saw there was no way out of being jailed. Hello, can you roll down your window? Your window. Your window. You need to put your car in park. Okay. 
What's going on? Okay, we're gonna be step outside the vehicle. Okay. Right. Nope, you're stepping outside the vehicle. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm just gonna go. No, you're not gonna We're gonna have you step outside the vehicle, okay? Okay. Well can I go? This was a very funny situation as she kept smiling the entire time. It was obvious she was highly drunk. The policeman probably didn't understand and was starting to get pissed off as she was so confused even as he explained what she needed to do. I'm trying to get home. Okay, how much Hi. have you had to drink tonight? Um, not much, honestly. Okay. Yeah. So, you weren't even able to follow instructions? Let's, yeah. right. Let's walk over here. Alright, so... You're asleep in the drive-thru of Taco Bell parking lot. Sorry. So tell me what's going on tonight. Um, honestly, I'm just tired. I want to go home. Okay. Yeah. So how much have you to drink tonight? Um, not very much. I okay. went to pick my friends up from the bar, and I went in to give them a jump from home, and then I ended up staying for a little bit, and then I was hungry, and I went through the drive-thru. Okay. And then you, you fell asleep? Yeah. I'm okay. tired. It's been a long week. It's been hectic for the finals and stuff, so mm -hmm. I am tired, but okay. I'm not drunk driving. But okay. Yeah. There was a beer in your cup holder. Okay. Yikes. So you were drinking and driving? No, that was not mine. Okay, but it's open right next to you? She seemed good to go as she was talking, but it got to a point where she started stammering and getting her words wrong. She also kept saying she was sorry. She also just turned 24, so she was a full adult, really. So, would you be willing to do some voluntary field sobriety tests? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna let you out of those handcuffs and we're gonna go through some tests, okay? I'm so sorry. She was freed from the cuffs and was even talking with the other policemen. They gave her some tests to perform. This was how her arrest went, and she was even read her rights. I don't deserve to be in jail. This girl is in denial of her intoxication. Do a backflip right now. Well, that's not part of the test. A policeman stopped a car on May 14, 2022, after he noticed her driving awkwardly. After seeing the driver, he requested a well-being test to see how she looked. The way you've been driving, you've been- I was on my phone. You're on your phone? You have your license registration proof insurance? I have insurance registration, but I just lost my wallet like two weeks ago. Okay. So yeah. I don't have my ID. Okay, where are you coming from? My friends. Your friend's house? What were you doing at your friend's? Just, um, just hanging out? And I kind of smell alcohol coming from your vehicle. So. I mean, there's no alcohol. This was terrible for her. Thank goodness she was also caught. This could have caused a bigger issue for her even if she might sleep in jail for a few hours. It would at least save her from a bigger incident. So you don't have your ID on you? I mean, it's lost. It, it's literally, lost. I was getting gas and I left it on top of my car and it flew off. Okay, are you the registered owner of the vehicle? Um, me and my mom are. You haven't had anything else? No, I was able to the DD to take them home. Okay. She was eventually asked to get out of the car to carry out a wellness test. And she was doing it well enough. At a point, she had to do it barefoot. She didn't know what came after 1010 and was already open for arrest. At this point, she was cuffed. Can I do a breathalyzer? Yes, you can. I don't think I'm under the influence. Okay. Well, if you want to prove that to the breath tech, you can do that. Can I do it before I get arrested? Well, you are already arrested. So there's no way I can prove that I'm sober? I'm... Am I taking this? I've never done like any balanced things before. Like, can I do anything before I'm proved not sober, please? I'll do a breathalyzer right now. We don't have that here, so we gotta do that at the jail. At this point, she was already so scared of going to jail. She was literally begging not to go to jail, but the policeman didn't seem like he was ready to listen to her pleas. She could swear she wasn't drunk, but the cop wasn't even ready to listen to her. This was how her arrest went, 
and she was terrified that this could have happened to her. Officer can't stop laughing during arrest. Oh, it's puke. It smells like puke. Look, it's like puke or something. It is puke. I'm gonna throw up. I didn't realize it until just now. That is puke. This was what happened when two police officers stopped Brooke on January 15, 2023. She was caught drunk driving. And after this was found, she was asked to carry out a sobriety test where she failed woefully. So I'm just stopping you for improper lane use. Sorry, I was on stuff. the phone. You're on the phone? I'll be honest. Okay. Who are you I on the phone with? My baby daddy. I'll show it to you too. Okay. Yeah. Zachary? Okay. Yeah. You can talk to him if you where, want. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from JJ's. I just got off. I'm going to street. street? Go home. Yeah. Okay. You live on the street? Yes, sir. In Bentonville? Yep. Okay. What time did your shift end at JJ's? It ended at 10.30. Okay. Did you have to clean up and all that yep. stuff? How much do you have to drink tonight? Only one drink. Just one drink? Yep. Yes, Final sir. answer. Miller. A Miller Lite? Yes. <laughs> she looked so stressed out, even if she was trying so hard to play cool. It also didn't seem like she was trying too hard. She seemed like that type of person. An easygoing person, in fact. She kept laughing and was extremely cooperative. One of the policemen even said that they had probably dealt with her before. All right, Brooke, hey, would you want to do some field sobriety tests to make sure, sure you're good to go? Yeah. All right. Do you want me to turn the car off? What do you want to do? You can leave it on or run uh, it? Or I'm going to keep it warm. Go back in front of my car for yeah. me, okay? No guns or knives on you? Uh, no. Okay. She kept laughing as they conducted the test. They all kept laughing. Her smile was contagious, no doubt. She wasn't used to this and probably was trying to make the whole thing awkward. The policeman kept laughing as the test was ongoing. She failed the test. You're gonna be fine. You're not gonna be put in a cell with a bunch of crackheads. You'll be alright. Who's that? Okay. Well, I'll let them know, and he won't. He won't be near you at all. Okay. Alright. Can you my hair? Your what? My hair. Where do you want it? Right here. Like this way. Out of my cheek. Alright, go this way. Um, hey, so once I sit you down and we start reading stuff, I can't. you can't put anything in your mouth, okay? You take it out completely. Take what out completely? The freaking hair in my cheek. It's, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Do you have like a ponytail thing? No, nope. okay. it's fine. I'll be fine. So I'm going to bring... My inhaler. The inhaler, but okay. after, my, that, when I'll we get to that up. point... Yep. You can talk. No, I'm just saying that, like... You can't have it. You can't put anything in your mouth because that'll affect like me. Stuff. I can't. My hands are behind my back. Yeah. Well, you'll. You won't be in handcuffs at that point. I'll so. have my. The policeman made sure to tell her she wouldn't be able to use her inhaler when she was being processed at the station. She had already given in to faith and just wanted this night to be over. So I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna yes. skip anything with an X on it. Okay. Okay. So you are advised that any person who operates or is in actual physical control of a motorboat or motor vehicle in this state is deemed to have given consent to one or more chemical tests of his or her breath, saliva, or urine for the purpose of determining the alcohol or controlled substance. He read her rights and the rules in line with driving while drunk. She carefully listened to him. She understood and was just ready for this to be over. She was actually held for her own good, and this didn't seem like she was going to spend more than a few hours in jail. It's only right to measure the amount of drinks if you know you would be driving to avoid situations like this or, better still, don't drink. These women could have avoided being arrested if they had just waited till they got home to drink or have someone drive them while intoxicated. Avoid this. For more, click the subscribe button and make sure to like our video.